So Alex Jones did an interesting segment yesterday where he declared his love for the establishment and specifically the right wing of the establishment. Let's watch. You know, Tucker Carlson is the slickest, in a good way, smartest person on television right now. Sean Hannity is the most dogged and, 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 and has the most courage. But Lou Dobbs, in his massive knowledge of politics, of business, of everything, really is the master. And that's all on Fox. Fox tried to be anti-Trump until about six months ago. They lost about half their viewers. It almost killed them. And then that attempt failed, and now the floodgates are open again to tell the truth. Doesn't mean they're perfect. But think about where we'd be if it wasn't for Fox News. And the only reason I say that is... The globalists are constantly in their public white papers scheming how to bring down Fox and how to pressure Murdoch to do it. But Murdoch has hedged his bets and is now burrowed in with Trump, talking to him every day, I'm told, and really knows how to be a sycophant trying to lick his rear end. I'm sorry to use a gross term like that, but I want this to get to the president, so I just said it. I was about to cover all these big subjects, and I was just thinking how thankful I was to Tucker Carlson that he's so smart. It's good to have other brains out there like that. I'm exhausted a lot of the time. And I'm very thankful to know there's Michael Savage and Rush Limbaugh and Sean Hannity and Tucker Carlson and out there. Thank God. They're not perfect. I'm not perfect either, but they're not out to get you. And then we wouldn't be here without Matt Drudge. Fox would have buckled. And all this would have buckled if Drudge wasn't there. Drudge is the the cornerstone, the linchpin, the secret sauce, the, but you know, if you look at God's plan, if I wasn't here, we wouldn't be here. If you weren't here, we wouldn't be here. Our active audience, if Drudge wasn't there, if Trump hadn't been there to seize the moment with the catalyst, the final headstone, Capstone, not using Illuminati term, they just grab every term, make it theirs. I mean, Trump is the capstone of the relaunch of the republic. He's the nose cone on the rocket. InfoWars is the fuel. And all of us are just as important as the other some parts. There isn't some elitism here. There isn't some competition. This is a death battle with anti-human, satanic, monopolistic scumbag forces. You know, this clip of maybe almost all the Alex Jones clips that we've covered, um, it might be the most important because it really highlights something that is devastating. And the fact is, this shows Alex Jones is completely pro-establishment. That's what he is. So he just broke it down for you in the clearest terms imaginable. He said, Tucker Carlson is the smartest guy on TV. He's the slickest and smartest guy on TV. By the way, that's hilarious. We just covered a segment where Tucker Carlson um, claimed that the left loves dictators. And they love them because um, they, they're, they hate their fathers. What? <laughs> smartest guy on TV. Smartest guy on TV. Uh, so, and then he says, Lou Dobbs is the master. Lou Dobbs, by the way, was a CNN host for years and years and years. Now he's on Fox Business Network. His show is all day, every day, pro-Trump. That's it, pro-Trump, all day long. Uh, he gives credit to uh, Sean Hannity for being dogged and being a fighter. Um, and then notice there's an admission in the middle there where he talks about how, well, uh, Fox News was anti-Trump. And then they went back... Uh, then they changed that and flipped it, and they went back to telling the truth. So look at the framing. The framing is, if you're anti-Trump, you're obviously not telling the truth. If you're pro-Trump, you're telling the truth. What does that even mean, Alex? Are you kidding me? And you're going to pretend like you're... That was his thing. His thing was, I'm against the establishment. I'm Alex Jones. I'm exposing all the, the conspiracy theories going on and how the government's against you. But now that his boy's in there, it's mind off. And I am playing defense. Typical partisan hack establishment sellout shill. Listen, we just covered a story the other day. Donald Trump colluded with the predatory payday loan industry. They gave Mick Mulvaney, I think it was $54,000. That's Trump's head of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. And they gave Donald Trump at his inauguration, I think it was over a million dollars. And then what happened? Donald Trump scrapped the rules that were going to be implemented to crack down on the predatory payday loan uh, lender industry, 
and he's letting them charge up to 950% interest. This is coming from the guy who said the forgotten man will never be forgotten again. That's what he did. He let Goldman Sachs write his tax bill. 83% of the benefits of his tax bill goes to the top 1%. What happened, Alex? I thought you were for the regular guy, too. Now, all of a sudden, you have Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs. The globalists defined. They're looting the treasury. You know if Hillary was president and she let Goldman Sachs loot the treasury, which, by the way, she would have done that, you would be all over it. But when it's Trump, shh. Being anti-Trump, that's fake news. If you're, you're pro-Trump, you're, quote, telling the truth. You're a hack. You're partisan. You're a sellout. You're an establishment corporatist shill. I said it. That's what you are, Alex. You're an establishment corporatist shill. It's not my words. Look at what you said. You said you gave credit to Michael Savage and Rush Limbaugh. Rush Limbaugh was the biggest cheerleader in favor of the Iraq war. Didn't you used to be against the Iraq war, Alex? Guys, he has no consistency. He has no consistency, Alex Jones. If he did, he would... Rush Limbaugh, the number one cheerleader for neoconservatism, the U.S. empire, invading any country that looks at us the wrong fucking way, the main guy who wants to cut taxes for the rich, screw over regular people, working people, the same one who's for all the outsourcing deals. What happened, Alex? I thought the outsourcing deals were a globalist plot. Now they're not. Now all of a sudden they're fine. Because again, Trump is your, is, is, Trump's presidency made Alex Jones turn off his brain. Not saying it worked great before, it didn't. But it really, shut off, I'm playing defense. I am the chief propagandist of the administration. And then finally, it's actually worse than that. Because he's not just the establishment, as he makes clear. If you're praising Fox News, a multi-billion dollar corporation that does nothing but propaganda for one of the two main political parties all day long. Propaganda. MSNBC is propaganda for the Democrats. Uh, Fox News is propaganda for the Republicans. You can't say you're anti-establishment and cheer for a multi-billion dollar corporation that does the propaganda for one of the two major parties, Alex. But again, it's worse than that. Because he proves he's pro-establishment, but not only that, he slips in there. Oh, all this is happening is God's plan. God's plan? God's plan? What are you, God's plan? What, is it, what are you saying? And then he says, I mean, look, we're in a, a, a battle to the death with satanic powers. Now, you might just say, oh, he's just sprinkling in, you know, interesting language to make his point here. No. Because Alex Jones has argued previously about um, Barack Obama smelling like sulfur. And being demonic. These are things he actually believes. That, that, that We're talking about a cosmic battle. He believes this in the same fundamentalist Christian sense that somebody like Pat Robertson believes. Or John Hagee. So that's why this is even sadder than we initially imagined. Because he's not just totally pro-establishment now. He's a mix of being pro-establishment and fucking Pat Robertson fundamentalist Christian. Which is probably the saddest mix I've ever seen in my life. Truth teller my ass cheeks, Alex.